Hello and welcome to an update here on Direct Motocross. I'm Billy Rainford. This one is brought to you by Ride 100%. Thanks to them for all their support of Direct Motocross over the years. Uh, we're going to do a little update here. Basically, we're going to talk about something that is uh, kind of on the top of the charts as far as what's being spoken about and talked about, argued, uh, you know, bench raced up here in, the, in Canada for the upcoming uh, 2023 Canadian Triple Crown Series MX Championship. Um, and that is the fact that two-time Canadian champ Kevin Benoit He's back and he's racing for the uh, KTM Red Bull Fly Racing Team and he's going to be doing it on a 252 stroke. Uh, I'm sure we all remember back uh, a few years back, it was over five years ago, uh, that he won that title. Uh, incredible battles with uh, Vince Freezy up here, all kinds of uh, shenanigans went on. It was it was pretty entertaining uh, year to be, uh, to be involved. But anyway, um, he's back. He took some time away and the guys at KTM approached him and said, Hey, what would you think about coming back? And Kevin said, on a 252 stroke, that's allowed, okay. So that, uh, I just saw him down at Club MX and we did an interview, you can check that out here on the site uh, if you haven't already seen that, but uh, he talks about why he's back and all that kind of stuff. But that's uh, that part of it's not the, uh, the issue here, the part is the fact that he is going to be riding a 252 stroke as a two-time former champion. Uh, well, guess what, that's fine, it's in our rules. Um, I guess the argument too, a lot of people are wondering, okay, well, why would Canada be the only place in the world where that we know of that, that a 252 stroke is able to ride in the 250F uh, MX2 class, uh, not in the AMA, not in the MXGP series. Um, so that's, that's another thing to be argued if you want to argue that. To be different, to be interesting, to bring more people up here, obviously yes to all those. Um, so is it a big advantage? For some, yes. For some, no. For some tracks, yes. For some tracks, no. Kevin can ride one well. Uh, everybody I speak to down at Club MX say he's riding great. He'd only been on the bike a couple of times when I was there, so he was just getting himself up to speed. Um, so obviously the, the problem is teams that are, are sponsored by manufacturers who don't make a 252 stroke anymore, which are many, uh, right? Obviously the KTM group does with Husqvarna, with uh, the Gas Gas, with the KTMs, of course. Um, so Kevin will be racing the entire series on a 252 stroke. Um, the rules state two time back to back, people are not allowed to race the uh, series on a 252 stroke, but he hasn't done that. A former 450 MX champ here in Canada within the last five years is not able to do it. Um, if it's not back to back, there's a maximum of three titles and it's five years from your last title. So those are the stipulations in Canada. So if you're down in the States and you're thinking, hmm, uh, well, borders are open. This is looking a lot better. Maybe I'll uh, head back up to Canada because uh, unfortunately with the way things went the past two, three years, it's been tough, but uh, borders are open. So come on up everybody. And as far as AMA riders, uh, the only people who are not allowed to race a 252 stroke in the 250 class up here would be if you finished top 10 in the 250 or 450 MX season down south uh, the previous season. So before that, it's okay. Uh, top 10 in the 450 Supercross uh, overall points in the previous three seasons, you would uh, not be able to. That's top 10. Uh, AMA Pro and FIM GP riders, if you're the champ, the previous five years are not allowed. Um, and FIM uh, MXGP riders 250, 450. If you're in the top 10 in the previous season, you're not allowed to. But if it's before that, and that, so you are eligible. So, I mean, that opens things wide open, uh, right? Uh, it, it creates a lot of interest. It's going to sound great. Um, a lot of people will find that's good for price, right? You can keep the price down to keep a 252 stroke competitive in the class. Um, and I guess kind of what brought this on too is the fact that we saw the um, our. 2022 uh, Triple Crown Champ in the 250 class, that's our combination, MX, uh, Supercross, and Arena Cross. That's Mitchell Harrison. He rides for uh, the Cobble Good team out there, the Thor Racing uh, Gas Gas team. Uh, there was a video out with him riding a two-stroke, so it's like, oh boy, okay, it's wide open, and now it is allowed for Americans to do it. So he was getting some people talking and everything like that. So I gave Alex Parker, the owner of the Cobble Good, he owns Cobble Good Sports, Cobble Good Mountain Sports, and the team, and I said, so what's going on here? Was that just to get people talking? Actually, it, was, it wasn't even a 250 two stroke the video that I saw it was actually a smaller bike but uh, he said you know what we are going to build a race 252 stroke and four stroke for Mitchell to try out to see which ones he's better on to see which one he likes better have the discussion kind of go from there so he's allowed to do it so he may still it may be kind of generating a bit of hype as well kind of thing just to kind of uh, get people talking and that's fine but um, so we'll have to find out is he faster they mentioned obviously Alex mentioned they are cheaper to run at that fast pace cheaper to rebuild and all that kind of stuff so uh, where do you stand on this uh, 252 stroke in the 250 class uh, argument? I mean, um, 
obviously you can kind of see both sides of it depending on what team you're on depending on where you are in your career depending on what your goals are so uh, we'd be interested. Uh, leave a comment below, kind of talk, uh, mention in the comments on whatever, wherever it is you're watching this. But uh, yeah, let's get the discussion going. It is an interesting one. It is going to make it interesting. Do you think Kevin Benoit, after all these years off the bike, will he be able to compete with these uh, youngsters in the 250 class? Because it is a stacked class this season. So it's going to be interesting to see. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and thanks to uh, Ride 100%.